Yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy. Today's video, we're going to be doing a special pendulum trick that nobody knows. I didn't want to explain this in front of the world, but um, I'm the pen god, so it's my duty, baby. Let's go. This trick has been passed down from generation to generation. And now, Trip Gaming the Third will explain to you guys the exact trick that has saved me in multiple duels in the past. It's not going to save you guys. So if you guys want to figure out what this trick is, stay tuned to the end of this video. And make sure to get the people Trip Gaming play mat. Tune Electro My Cloth play mat because that's the real trick. If you play on a Tune Electro My Cloth play mat, you'll be able to destroy your opponent every game passed by from Trip Gaming the second. So get your shit right now. And if you haven't, smash the subscribe button because you can do you can do both. Or you can just get your play mats. Look at that. Look at that. You look at that. Whoa, was that true? Whoa, 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 whoa. We have seven different play mats at tripgaming.com. Y'all should go on tripgaming.com and figure out for yourselves. Anyways, get ready for the video. See you to the end for the greatest pendulum video of all time, baby. The best trip gaming pendulum tricks that no one knows. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Pendulum time. <laughs> As I said, the best pendulum trick that nobody talks about. So with that being said, let's get straight into it, baby. As you see the hand, the hand is like, okay, it's not the best. I'm gonna fast forward all the way so you guys can see like the, the combo I'm talking about. We're gonna go normal. Like every hand, it look, looks like this. Yeah. We drew a right hand. Right hand is not the best card. Everyone knows you don't want to open right hand. You want to open the restage. If you open the restage, it's incredible for you. We're gonna fast forward so I can actually show you guys the trick. I'm also gonna show you guys my updated deck profile. This, I haven't up posted my updated Pendulum, pure pendulum deck profile in a long time with revolution hype and stuff like that. But I'm gonna show you guys at the very end. Obviously, so usually is required. So usually, so usually is like a bonus part of this video, something that no one uses. A pendulum trick. Consider that a bonus. I want to show you guys the actual play here. So this is after everything. One desires right here, right? So we just use Saryusha. No one uses Saryusha by the way, and like it's a big mistake for all pendulum plays. You need to play that card. So we're gonna use Saryusha here. Uh, Doctor desires, and we still don't have high skills. So. You don't have high skills normally, but imagine using Saryusha and you still don't have high skills. So we have no high skills. And sometimes that happens. Sometimes that happens. We only have one counter and abductor. If we activate right hand, we'll have two counters. We already use desires. If we activate abductor in the scale, abductor will have three counters. I can search a card, but I can't activate a card in the scale because abductor is clogging the scale, right? So I don't have no scales, no nothing. I use, look at me times I drew. I drew twice for knowledge, four, six, seven, eight. Four draws for Sayusha 12 times. I drew 12 times and I had no high scale. After drawing 12 times, I drew 12 times and I had no high scale. So what are you going to do here? This is a pendulum trick that nobody talks about. And before you guys watch this trick, this is going to like blow your mind. It's going to be super important. And there's a reason why you play this card in the extra deck to be able to do this. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button. All right. Don't forget that. It's very important. And if you guys already subscribed, I'll show you guys right now the beautiful trick. So, very simply, we're going to go into Selene. Uh, we're actually going to go into Abductor first, right hand. We're going to like, get a few pluses. As you guys see, the right, the Abductors are clogged, right? The Abductors are clogged. It's like, oh, how are you going to get a scale? Well, very simply, we're going to go into Selene here. Selene's going to summon up Mighty Master because we're going to pendulum summon that Mighty Master back. And Selene and Mighty Master is going to go to Daybreaker. And then after going to Daybreaker, we're going to actually use the Restrict to go into a Link 1, Relinquish Anima. There's a reason why you play this. There's utility in your entire deck. You just don't know it yet. A lot of you guys are misplaying. Cause you're like, oh, this deck sucks, it's all extenders. I don't know how to get scales. Well, I drew 12 times, four of which are from Sayusha. And then I got a scale by using Daybreaker to pop the abductor that already used the effect to add. So now I can actually activate my high scale. And better yet, I can also summon the Mighty Master later to get another spell charm to get. Very simple, man. Very simple. But a lot of you guys don't see these plays. That's why I want to make these videos to educate you guys to be able to do stuff like this. So you go Selene, we summon these out, we're gonna go Mascarena, we're gonna use Selene summon up Restrict, pop the Desires we're never gonna use, and we're gonna put up full, like, full combo, full combo, easy. We never even had high scales. We didn't even have high scales, man. It's stuff like this that separates players that uh, talk shit about pendulums and players that recognize the greatness of pendulums. It's the fact that pendulums are truly amazing, but a lot of people don't see the plays. So right there, that's why you play Abductor, reasons like that. You can use Daybreaker to pop it if you actually need to. And just like that, we turn three negates into seven negates. Because if we didn't see that play, we were only ending on a Jackal, a, a Mighty Master, and a Millennium Miser Strip. You're welcome. With that being said, I'm going to show you guys right now the deck profile. If you guys like that combo, we'll use Daybreaker to free up your scale, to get the high scale if you need to. 
Don't forget to smash the subscribe button and get the beautiful Trip Gaming two and Electromite Cloth play mats on TripGaming.com because they will sell out soon, boys. So don't forget it. I will not show you guys the deck profile of the best deck in the world. The updated best pure Demian deck profile. Let's go. This is the updated deck profile with the new meta intact. I tried to play Chalice main deck. I've been doing it for a long time. I played like a bunch of duels, maybe 50 duels with Chalice in the main deck. After lots and lots of duels, I, I, even though Numeron is a new hot deck, Numeron is honestly not that good, man. I don't care what anybody says. It's a very overrated deck. I firmly believe from the bottom of my heart. If this is an amazing deck, I will tell you. Orcus was an amazing deck. I have openly played Orcus over Pendulums while Orcus was at its full power. I've openly done that because I firmly believe Orcus was the best deck at the time. Numeron is not the best deck. Numeron fucking sucks ass, all right? I'm telling you that as honest as it is from the bottom of my heart. You don't need any to main deck stuff for Numeron. If they're playing pure Numeron, you don't need any Chalice. They're, the, they're not going to OTK you. Their own card, Zexo, is going to kill itself. By setting a card, you'll survive. It'll kill itself and then you win. You don't need to main outs to the Numeron, card, Numeron cards. As you can tell, like I said, you don't need main deck outs to the deck. It's very easy to defeat it. But side deck, we have lots of outs. We have the Triple Chalice, Double Emperor Man, Down Wrestler. So post side deck, you're okay against that matchup. But main deck, you don't need to worry about it at all. I'm telling you guys right now for a fact. In 100 matches, I'm correct. All right. With that being said, I'm going to go straight into the deck profile. Servant, Triple Doctor, Double Jackal, Triple Mighty Master, One Reflection. Six negates here. Well, the four of these, if you open these four or mastery, if you open any of these seven, it's Exodia. These seven are absolutely remarkable. If you hard draw, it's amazing. Uh, you almost automatically win. Chronograph is amazing because it puts holds the deck together. Use a doctor to search anything you want. Uh, you search a servant. Uh, search a servant, daybreaker the doctor, and servant resolves even through Ash Blossom. You guys saw that play there. The number one trick in pendulums is utilizing daybreaker to unclog your scales. So you can freely go double abductor, but you just use Daybreaker to pop the extra abductor. It's very fucking simple. It's amazing, it's incredible, but no one actually utilizes it. So you can plus as many times as you want. And then at the end of the day, you're just pendulum summoning back that same abductor you popped. You guys get it? It's a lot better than you think. So Daybreaker is the biggest trick of pendulums that people don't understand. There's lots of small tricks like this that I talk about on my Patreon. So you got, there's a few other tricks. There's, I'd say a total of five tricks that no one th thinks about. So if you guys want to see these tricks, sign up on my Patreon down below where I talk about these tricks all the time with duels, utilizing the tricks, different solo modes, utilizing the tricks, different deck profiles, utilizing the tricks. There's lots of tricks that no one knows in Pendulums, like the Daybreaker trick, that people just aren't using. And there's a reason why I'm the Pen God. I'm the best player in the world, Pendulum, baby. That being said, we're going to move on to deck profile. Double Blue Boy. You need Blue Boy because if you have another extender, like Corner Grab, Abductor, Servant, Reflection, Souls, Jester, Confidant, Restage, you want to resolve the Crowley even if Blue Boy gets Impermanence or Valor or Ash Blossom. So via those nine hand traps that are main decked in almost every single deck right now, you want to make sure you get all the extenders possible so Blue Crowley still resolves. That's why you gotta play two. Triple Souls, double just a Confidant. If you really want to, you can remove these two just a Confidant and two Chalices, but I'm not a fan of it. I think that uh, you need to play as many lev uh, level three or lower monsters as possible. Otherwise, Restage itself could brick you. If you're not playing enough Jester Confidence or a monster's under level 3 in the graveyard you can summon, Restage will brick you. So I firmly believe double Jester Confidence is the best number. Overall, you're going to have one Abductor Search of Souls if you hard draw Restage. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. You have 13 cards. So if you hard draw Restage, you have 13 cards in your deck to that Restage combos with. And if you look at all the draw power in your deck, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You have 16 draw cards in your deck. So out of 24 cards in your deck, six, uh, thir 13 out of 24 cards in your deck combo with Restage. So you need to play Restage. These are all the draw cards. Triple Desire, Double Secret, Triple Allure, Knowledge, Upstart, Into the Void. You don't want all the draw cards because they're not only drawn to your best cards, they're not, they're not only drawn to your side cards, but they draw into Servant, Abductor, Spell counters for Serpent Abductor. Spell counters for Jackal. Spell counters for Reflection. Spell counters for Mighty Master. It brings the deck together. It's like the glue of the deck. So the people that don't uh, think you need to put all these draw cards, they don't play a Lord because there's not enough darks in the deck. They don't put Into the Void because they discard their hand. They don't play Desires because there's too many one-ups. It's literally the most stupidest shit I've ever heard in my fucking life. Some people don't play Upstart. I cannot, I, if I could play 30 Upstart Goblins, I would play 30 Upstart Goblins. 
the deck needs to play cards that are generic spell placeholders that add spell counters to the cards. You feel me? And that's that. Instant Fusion is amazing, Triple Restage, and Right Hand. For those who don't know what Restage is, if you're new to the channel, you know, check out all my videos. I discuss why Restage... You know what's Block your break. Okay. Anyway, Restage is incredible. I firmly believe in the card. Next, Double Dark Ruler, Triple, double, uh, triple Mystic Mind. Uh, two Mystic Mind, one Terraforming. You can play a Triple Mystic Mind if you want to. But it's whenever you don't... Ensure you don't lose to, to Zexel twice in a row. So, 50% chance you, you lose Dairo. Right? Uh, so, you, let's say you lose a Dairo to Numeron. Alright. So, game one. They need to open... They only have, like, seven outs. They Okay. 50% chance of, of losing to Numeron. 50% chance losing Dairo. Alright. If you lose a Dairo, so it's already 50%. Your opponent only has seven outs or ten outs if they play the uh, normal summon, which is... Uh, they could lose to Nibiru if they do that, to Zexel. So they have seven to ten, 10 ways to Zexel. That's not a lot, bro. That's not a lot. I have seven ways to Servant Abductor Mastery. Do you have any idea how many times I don't draw Servant Abductor Mastery? Even though I play 16 draw cards. And Zexel decks play zero draw cards. You guys understand what I'm saying? So the chance of Zexel decks drawing Zexel is less of a chance of you drawing Servant Abductor or Mastery. So there's a lot of hands in my life. I didn't have Servant Abductor or Mastery. There's a lot. And I play 16 fucking draw cards. They play zero. So, 50% chance of losing die roll. Less of a chance of them even drawing Zexel. And then to top that off, they need to draw Ogre as well. Because all you can need to do is set cards for three turns. And you just destroy them after that. So, game one, you still defeat them. Game two, you got Chalice, Imperm, and Dino Wrestler. So, you're good. So, you got six outs in game two and game three. And they're always gonna perma shotgun and standby phase the Zexel or draw phase because you're playing Pendulum. They don't want you to resolve desires, pen call, shit like that. Triple Denko, Reboot, and Dan Wrestlers for background decks. So this is a really good like combination of shit of stuff. I could actually put it in the third imperm here because this could work for rock decks a little bit better. That's better. That's probably better there. But you could, if you're playing a budget deck, you don't really need the you don't really need the imperms if you're playing a budget deck. pack. If you're playing a budget deck, uh, you can take the Imperms out completely. They're not extremely necessary. You can put them in for gold, for Gammas. You, you can play Triple Gamma if you want. Same result. Uh, triple Selene, Crowley, Daybreaker. As you guys saw, Daybreaker is a trick of Pendulums. A huge trick people don't understand. Cra especially if you're playing Cerberus, it helps a lot as well. Uh, Crashy, Mascarena, Unicorn, Appaloosa, Axico, Sayuja. As you guys saw there, it was the bonus trick that Sayuja is incredible. We drew 12 times to so then have a high scale. Thanks to Daybreaker, we had the high skill. Thanks to Saryuja, we had the high skill. And uh, people don't utilize Daybreaker going first. And people don't even play Saryuja in the extra deck. We drew 12 times, we still don't have a high skill. So, as you guys said, saw there is very important. We'll look at Shandama, Restrict, Vortex, absolutely. That's the video, guys. Hope you guys like it. If you guys like the video, smash the subscribe button. Don't forget to sign up on the beautiful Pendulum Training down below. Because that's where I show all the tricks. If you guys don't want just one trick, but a thousand tricks, sign up on Pendulum Training down below. And if you guys want to play on the beautiful Shrimp Gaming! Cloth, Tune Electro, my Cloth Play, man. Purchase yours right now and get it before they sell out because they're gonna sell out quick. We already sold out of three playmats already. So get yours ASAP before it sells out. Thank you guys for watching the video. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!